So now that we've told you what the crap test is, I'm going to show you how you can apply the crap test to some articles that you might come across for your paper. So our paper is going to be about the immigration debate. So I'm just going to Google quickly immigration debate and I come up with over a hundred million articles. Let's just go ahead and click on one. Uh, here's one from Fox News and the title of it is Trump sides with Cher after Star questions LA's ability to take care of its own amid immigration debate. So now let's go ahead and apply the crap test. Currency. When was this article written? Let's see. It was written two days ago, so passes the currency. Relevance. Is it on my topic? It concerns the immigration debate, so roughly, yeah. Uh, authority is the creator and expert. See, this is where you have to start doing a little digging. It looks like the article is by someone named Bradford Betts for Fox News. Let's see who Bradford Betts is. So if I click on his name, it says he's an editor for Fox News. Since he's an editor for Fox News, he's not an expert in the field. So they're automatically the authority does not check out. If I look a little further about Mr. Betts, and I just Googled him just out of curiosity, turns out that at Fox News, Mr. Betts writes opinion pieces and editorial pieces in their political area for Fox News. So he automatically does not pass the authority test. So the second A is accuracy. So we need to see the reliability, the truthfulness, and the correctness of the content. Going through this article, yeah, it does not check out. It is basically an editorial, so it's not contributing anything to my paper, unless my paper is about tweets from the president concerning the immigration debate, but it's not. Uh, so let's see. So purpose, the reason for the information to exist. So going through the article, information presented is not really intended to move the debate forward. It's basically clickbait. It's something for the network to get lots of ratings, for people to click on it, for people to look at their other products. It's also intended for them to get money. Because that's how a lot of these media companies get money, are by the numbers of people who click on their articles. So this article does not pass the crap test. It is not appropriate to use in your paper. Move on to your next source. Okay, now that I've shown you an article that doesn't pass the crap test, let's go ahead and look at an article that does. So the article I'm going to look at is from the Council on Foreign Relations. And the title of it is The U.S. Immigration Debate. As I've read the article already, and I see the authors are Claire Felter and Daniela Rinwick, and it was published July 2nd, 2018. So let's go ahead and go through. Currency, the timeliness of the information. Well, since it was published within the last year, it does pass the currency. Relevant, the importance of the information for your needs. Well, my paper's about the immigration debate. The title of the article is The U.S. Immigration Debate. And just doing a quick reading, it crunches a lot of statistics. So, yeah, I would say that the information is appropriate. Authority, the source of the information. Well, now we get to look in two areas. So the organization that published it is the Council on Foreign Relations, and I just did a quick Google search for them. And the Council of Foreign Relations is a nonprofit think tank specializing in foreign policy and international affairs. It's been around for about 100 years. It is nonpartisan, so I can rely on this organization. While it may show a little bit of bias, is not as biased as something like a for-profit media company. Something that I like to use when I write my papers is called Media Biased Fact Checker, and it's where you can plug in different organizations and media companies, and it tells you where on the spectrum of bias they are. And it says that the Council of Foreign Relations is just right of center. I know that this information is reliable. So after looking at the overall organization, I should see who the authors are. 
So the first one is Claire Felter, and I clicked on her link. Looks like she was previously a reporter. Her background is in international relations, and she has a master's in journalism. So she is very competent in her field. The second individual is Daniela Renwick. So for Daniela Renwick, I just Googled her. I did Daniela Renwick reporter. Comes out that she's a freelance writer and editor. So she works with various organizations. Let's see, what are some of the organizations? NPR, PBS. Okay, so she is competent and well qualified in her field. I think that we can definitely say yes. Hands down, it does pass accuracy. The information is reliable. The information quotes many different organizations and studies that they've done. It gives hyperlinks to a lot of the papers that are referenced, and that helps me. Then purpose, the reason for the information. Well, the information that's presented in the article really goes through and talks about the origins of the immigration debate and its current status. So it does pass the purpose. I hope working through these articles and comparing them to the crap test is helpful. If you need any additional assistance, please feel free to ask any librarian. Have a great day.